I'm here with Frank Goes. We're going to be talking about the Relax Smile procedure. Now, before we talk about your, your study and what your, your findings are, can I get you to describe what Relax Smile is and to sort of walk me through a typical procedure, typical treatment? So the Relax Smile procedure is quite, is uh, in fact a hybrid between PRK and LASIK. So um, it gives the same results as LASIK, but uh, the stability is better at the long term and you don't have to make a flap. Uh, you can create the lenticule uh, underneath the surface of the cornea, remove the lenticule, and you don't have to create a flap uh, to remove the tissue. And this is what attracts a lot of patients because it's my, it probably it's much more stable and is better for the corneal nerve fibers, um, which is uh, the ideal hybrid between the two previous procedures. For, for viewers who have not seen what the procedure looks like, it's, it's for sure worth watching some video, but can, can I get you to, to sort of walk me through a, a procedure start to end from the time that the patient walks in until the time that you send the patient out? Yeah, a typical Relic Smile procedure is just like, um, like a procedure when you create a, a flap with a femtosecond laser, but instead of creating a flap, you create a lenticule. And the lenticule is created with the Visumax laser from Carl Zeiss. Um, it takes a few seconds more than the creation of a femtosecond flap. But um, uh, at the end of the creation of the lenticule, you, made a, you make a side cut. And through the side cut, you, you remove the lenticule with the forceps. You withdraw it from, from the eye. You withdraw it. And you don't have to open a flap and um, do the treatment um, on the surface. So one of the advantages of the technique is that um, there is no influence of the room humidity the room temperature or air current in the operating theater uh, because everything is done under the surface of the cornea always in the same conditions which explains why this procedure is really accurate. Frank, can I get you to describe your study and, and what your findings were? Most of the surgeons who do refractive surgery know about Relax Smile and uh, they know about the advantages of the technique but the technique is quite new since a few years and what we wanted to know is Probably it's better for the dry eye, probably it's better for stability of the eye, but we wanted to know what about the efficacy? Is, it, um, is the efficacy as good as um, femtosecond laser treatments or as good as PRK? Because um, if the treatment might be a little bit more safe, but the efficacy is less, then um, uh, nobody would like to do use this technique. And, um, and we tried to do a, lot, a study on 115 patients that we did, and we looked at um, a gain and loss of best corrected visual acuity, the correction of the sphere, the correction of the cylinder, and we found out that um, the mean age distribution of the patients was quite the same as in femtosecond laser treatment, but the sphere was, um, came from minus 5.34 to minus 0.07 diopters. So the reduction in sphere is um, excellent, uh, as well as the reduction in the cylinder. Um, the average um, deviation that we had in 115 patients was 0.26 diopters, which is really low. And at, the, at this moment, after 115 patients, we have no retreatments necessary yet, which is far better than the group of the femtosecond laser treatments uh, that we did. So at this moment, the efficacy of a Relax Smile is not only as good as femtosecond laser treatment, but in our hands, even better. Frank, for surgeons who, who, who consider to, to, to start to do this, this procedure, oh, which patients are particularly good starting patients and, and, and which patients are, are, are particularly bad patients for, yeah, for Relax Smile? That's a good question. I think that uh, the ideal patient is a patient who is not low myopic. He should be myopic at least minus three. But for the, 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 the good, the, the ideal first patients, take a patient of minus five, minus six, pure simple myopia with a big uh, white to white. Um, if you have a white to white over 12 millimeters, then you will have no loss of suction during the treatment. And uh, even, especially with the new FAST probe, program, um, the, the treatment will be done without, without any problems. If you have a small eye, if you have an, a low myopic eye, then you can have problems uh, removing the, uh, the lenticule, and this is not the ideal, the ideal patient. My ideal patient is between minus 3 and minus 8, and with an astigmatism of uh, um, less than 2.5 diopters. It's really, really cool stuff. Frank, thank you so much for spending time with us today. Thanks a lot for inviting me.